Hey everyone, it's Ben and today we're going to take a look at another knife from SOG, their new lineup for 2017. We're going to look at their field knife, pretty decent knife with a pretty decent price, coming up right now on Living Survival. So this is the SOG field knife, new for 2017, and I think it has a lot going for it, especially for the price tag. You can see here that you just get a thermoformed sheath, sort of a plastic sheath. It is a rig uh, fairly rigid sheath. Uh, it does have good retention, no rattles at all. It's not going to come out of the sheath at all. And one other thing that I sort of like about this sheath, you know, most people would sort of look at this and see, okay, well, it just has a fairly cheap pocket clip. But I actually kind of like that on a knife of this size, and the reason why is that if you were to have a big tech lock on here or a big uh, other type of clip system you know you'd be limited to just wearing this on your belt sometimes I'm not wearing a belt maybe I'm wearing uh, you know different type of uh, pants for example that just doesn't have a belt on it this type of clip works well for that you can slip it right on your pants uh, without a belt and it's going to give you that same retention and again another thing that I really like about it too is that you can slip this down in your pocket or in your pack without having a big bulky clip so again I think it works for some knives but on a knife of this size that I might use uh, hunting for example this reminds me a lot of one of my buck knives with the with the rubber coated handle there a knife that I use a lot store in my hunting pack I could see this serving the same application and again if you have that huge clip on there you know it's not going to tuck down into packs quite as nice so I do like that so just for size reference here you can see how low profile it stays against the body with that clip there very effective clip it's not going to come off your belt and it gives you that nice push off nub there to be able to pull the knife out and then also to resheath it and of course if you don't want to wear it on your belt again that low profile design allows it to be able to slip right down in your pocket feature that I really like there are a lot of places on this sheath, not only with the uh, the rivet holes there, but with the grooves cut in the side of the sheath so that you could easily lash this on to a pack. So I do find that nice. Looking at the actual knife, you do have a nice stainless steel clip point here. You can see SOG field knife there. It did come really, really sharp, and it's 7 CR17 MOV, so it's going to uh, maybe not hold up the best in the field, but it's going to sharpen really easily. So I don't really mind that, again, to keep the price down. You know, a lot, of the, a lot of us are looking into these super steels now, and super steels are a lot harder to maintain. Uh, you know, something like this, you can just uh, rub it over the ceramic route a couple times, and you're back to hair popping sharp. So again, in a knife, especially at this price point, I don't mind it having the 7 CR17. 17 as far as the steel goes we can get a closer look at the geometry of the blade here again nice grind there a little sweep to the top of the blade it is perfectly centered here towards the tip which is nice there is a little bit of jimping up top which is nice gives you a really nice purchase on the knife not only just gripping it normal handle style but also allowing you to choke up and put that thumb up there for added uh, added cutting power so I like that not only is a not always a huge fan of jimping on a knife but for a knife like this just a general purpose camp chore type knife I think it makes sense it does give you that extra ability there the blade surface does not come all the way back to the handle like I like to see it I usually like to see uh, my knives have the handle come out to meet the blade meet the edge of the blade maybe with just a little small nick there they have sort of a large rounded area of course that's going to help you when sharpening the knife and again this isn't going to be something that I'm really going to use for bushcraft although it could serve that purpose you could certainly shave down uh, pieces of wood with this but mainly it's just going to be for your basic just you know camp utility type food prep maybe uh, hunting style knife it's really comfortable in the hand that's the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the sheath is how comfortable it is in my hand especially on a day like today when it's wet it gives you a very nice grippy uh, comfortable you know hard yet it gives a little bit so it just forms your, your hand at least my hand really nicely so you got that little bit of extra texture there for your finger and a little bit of extra texture in the back for your back fingers there so handle they did right for sure uh, very very comfortable very very functional you got a lanyard hole there and then a little pommel on the back with a little a uh, little bit of uh, extra texture there I guess you could use that for scraping or something like that uh, that would work well for that 
but it's also full tank construction so that's going to allow you to crush things up maybe you got to crush uh, you know fibers down or something like that or you want to crush nuts or again with food prep you had something that you wanted to crush down it would work well for that specs on the field knife are eight and a half inches overall with a four inch blade so again i think it's a perfect size for general utility camp style uses 3.8 ounces so it's not overly heavy and then again going back to that sheath you know maybe not the highest quality sheath but definitely a functional sheath and again i like the fact that it's low profile fits easily in a pack or a pocket that secondary edge there is going to allow you to slice really well not going to be the sliciest knife out there but certainly has no problem slicing through some wood so you know camp tasks whittling down pieces of wood for toggles or for stakes it's going to definitely perform at those abilities again the knife fits really well in my hand i can lock my finger down in sort of that choil there with the extra texture on the bottom I can throw my thumb up on the jimping there and then that's going to allow me to do a lot more precise stuff whether it's with wood whether it's with food you know you're gonna it's gonna allow you to really get down in there and do the precise work that you'd like to do such as creating stakes creating traps again really more for just general purpose camp use i would use this when hunting for example but you could certainly use it to uh you know process down some wood maybe you want to make a little toggle or something you can use that to chop this wood right down and we can quickly make ourselves a little toggle I use toggles a lot when uh, hanging my equipment from a tree for example or even when using to hang lines or hammocks so you can easily use it for little preps like that certainly going to uh, be just fine at making traps or making stakes you're gonna be able to do all of that stuff with the field knife no problem slicing I like the fact again that I have a nice spot for my thumb easily carve ourselves out a notch there for a steak no problem popping out a square notch there we can do some tip tests some stabbing tests with it I'm not gonna overly abuse the knife of course but you want to see if your knife is at least durable enough to pierce things and stay intact so definitely capable of that you can break any knife but just want to give it the rundown of the basics certainly not going to be the best batoner out there but i do like the baton with my knives just to make sure that, that edge isn't going to roll or chip give it a couple more good wax here There's a good one stuck in there good now. And even went right through a knot there. Let's check our edge. Edge is holding up just fine. So again, you don't have to have super steels to be able to perform your camp tasks that you'll get with you can see you can see there's a few little knots in this piece here this wood's been sitting out for at least a year so although the purpose of this knife is not really for batoning I do do it with the smaller uh, wood stoves that I have to process up smaller amounts of wood. And again, it's a good test just to show you the durability of the edge. You can see there's no nicks, chips, anything like that in the edge, even going through this highly seasoned oak.
So the sheath does have that notch and one of the things that they say that that's good for is cutting paracord. So I've got some 550 cord here. Now one thing that I did find out is that you really have to pull quite hard to get it to cut. I mean it does cut, but you really got to give it a good a good tug on there even if it is going to cut through it. See it eventually does cut through it. Let's try that one more time. But you really got to you really got to give it some good effort and to me I'm scared, you know, anytime I get around a sheath and a knife putting pressure on it, I've slipped, I've cut myself one too many times. So for me, it just takes way too much pressure to cut that paracord. So for me, I'm just going to take the knife out of the sheath and then I can just easily cut right through my cordage. Much easier than using that little slot. So maybe for things like fishing line, it would work or smaller, less, uh, uh, less durable cordage, maybe just some regular nylon rope or something, it would cut it. But definitely 550 paracord, I'm taking it out of the sheath. Even when completely soaked, you still get a great purchase on that handle. It remains really comfortable and I don't feel like it's going to slip out of my hand. That's a great bonus to a small multi-purpose knife like this. So after a bunch of cutting and batoning through that oak, I went ahead and just cleaned it up. Gave it a very sharp edge, just ran it on the ceramic rod. Back to almost brand new. You can see that the blade is just in perfect condition. No nicks, chips, rolls. Exactly what I'd like to see. And something that's awesome for a low priced full tang knife. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today, taking a look at the new SOG Field Knife for 2017. Definitely a very capable knife with a very nice price tag, $29, and I think that's a great price for a knife like this. It's long enough to get those camp tasks done, whether it's uh, just processing down small amounts of wood, whether it's uh, skinning out an animal possibly. Again, it's a lot like my some of my buck knives. I like the rubberized handle on it, especially on a day like today where it's wet. You want to have something that is not going to slip in your hand. I like the steel, very easy to maintain. It's uh, even for a budget steel, it holds up well. It's going to perform those ta camp tasks very well as far as food prep. You could do some skinning with it. It reminds me of uh, some of my buck knives, which I've used for years and years for uh, processing deer. All in all, I think it's a great value and a knife worth checking out. So I'm gonna put a link below to Amazon where you guys can check this out. Pick up one for yourself if you choose to do so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me that comment below. Please share this video to your friends and family on your social media. And as always, click that red subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.